Hi, this is Billy Joe with Moon Goddess 114433, and I am bringing you another pick a card reading. So please do remember these are general readings. There are sometimes just, you know, a couple people that watch a video, but then there's sometimes thousands of people that watch a video. And these are geared towards the whole collective. So when you pick a card, just remember that to take what resonates with you and throw out the rest. Okay, so this pick a card reading today is meant to be timeless. And this is messages to you from spirit, from the divine. Okay, so we have four decks here. And I chose bracelets to um, put on top of the deck for you to choose from. And they all have some significant meaning to me. For deck one, I have this uh, bracelet deck that was made from a friend of mine. I, I knew her all growing up. Her name was Angela. And uh, she's a very dear, sweet soul. Um, she passed away many years ago of cancer. And I have always kept these. For deck two, um, this bracelet is actually the oldest one I have. Um, I was given this uh, when my oldest daughter, Krissa, was born, Krissa Nicole. And um, it has a little shoe on it with her date of birth engraved on the back side. And then a key to represent my hopes and dreams for her. She is 28 years old now, so. For deck three, I have this pink um, Helping Women Now Breast Cancer Awareness. I got this. My niece gave this to me when I was fighting and battling breast cancer, which I am a survivor of. And then breast cancer, uh, I'm sorry, deck number four. <laughs> this bracelet is actually my most um, one of my most recent ones, and it's from my youngest daughter, Michaela Cheyenne, um, and it says mother on it, has, um, it says love, mother, forever, so, and do I have a favorite? No. I don't have a favorite. These, these are actually, I have lots of bracelets. I like jewelry and bracelets, but <clears throat> out of all my bracelets, these four are my favorite. They're the most meaningful to me. So um, if you need more time to pick which deck you want, just go ahead and pause the video now. I'm going to go ahead and get started with deck number one. Let me move these others out of the way. For those of you who picked, picked deck number one with um, the red and white bracelet that was given to me from my friend Angela, okay, your message is from Spirit. Let's see. So you have exchanging gifts. This card represents um, giving and receiving equally in balance. Um, it advises the opportunities. You're being given different opportunities. It's offered to you, um, but you must also, not only are they being offered to you, but you also have to keep in mind that you're going to have to put in the time and the effort. You're going to have to use your skills and your experience, and you're going to have to make sure you commit to that, that path that you've chosen for whatever dream it is you're pursuing Whatever course you're on at this moment, it's going to be completely give and take. It, okay, and I, I think that's a beautiful card. Then you have No Place Like Home. So this card tells me, um, basically it's like um, there's no skin like your own. Okay. You've learned to be comfortable in your own skin, basically. Um, you've learned to walk confidently in your truth, in your authenticity. You know, 
that saying there's no place like home so basically you are your own home and there's no one like you and so basically shine your inner light shine your light as a beacon to others then you have wild woman wild woman reminds you to step fully into your true self and shed those social constraints and the cultural conformity and be who you've always meant to be um always remember that restrictions and expectations they dim your light so uncover that light and let it shine bright you know like like the no place like home card where it's just shining outwards from inside out into the darkness like a, a beacon to other people then you have the council. So the council advises you to start listening to your inner wisdom, to not wait for further signs, but embark on the journey to love deeply, forgive sincerely, and dare greatly. Take that leap. And you have new day. It says today is your new day. You got that sun shining, them rays going over, shining on you, wanting to bless you. Whatever your endeavors are, whatever you're inspiring to do, the, shine, the sun is shining brightly on you. And you have ascension. Again, you have the sun shining, right? And um, so basically this card lets you know that you are ascending into higher dimensions of consciousness. The more you go within, the more you shine your bright light, the more you ascend. The higher vibration, the higher the frequency. And then your final card is grateful. This card always tells me, because you know, you got her, she's looking at that, that beautiful butterfly or moth, or it kind of looks like a moth actually. I mean, she's got all them beautiful. And then there's some more down here. And she got all them blossoms. So she's really appreciating the beauty in life. Um, this card speaks to me of gratitude. You know, gratitude increases your frequency vibration. And the more gratitude and the more higher vibration, the more blessings of abundance you receive. So I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I am moving on to those that picked deck two. Okay, for those of you that picked deck two with the old 28 year old bracelet I got from my oldest daughter, or what well, I got when she was born actually. So, what are your messages from Spirit? So, we have Happy, Happy. So, this card speaks of finding joy in your present moment. And no matter what is happening, to be satisfied with things as they are. You are free to actually enjoy being in the moment. You don't have any shackles. You don't have anything holding you down. Your happiness comes from within and being exactly where you need to be. And then you have the milk and honey card. The milk and honey card basically is telling you that you are living in abundancy. Your needs are being met and you are given the gift of nourishment in every form. We have the Rainmaker. And the Rainmaker um, basically lets you know that you are the manifesting. You are a manifester. You know, think of it like um, making a rain dance and making it rain. And the rain nourishes everybody. Not just you, but it nourishes everybody. So what you manifest, this tells me that what you manifest, just know that it's for the greater good of all. 
remember to work with the mindset of existence as it's already in existence and not out of lack. And then you have Middle World. I love that picture of the tree. I, don't, I just love trees. <laughs> so, anyways, this is... Um, Middle World is like... It represents your present time, your day-to-day -day reality in the 3D. And it's saying that heaven and earth are smiling on you. I mean, you have the sunshine and you have the birds flying. It's just a really beautiful, rounded peaceful beautiful card and it's just letting you know that um, heaven and earth are smiling on you and that it is time to make your move um, move go ahead and move forward without hesitation you know then birds are in flight they're in action and then you have past present and future know that as you move forward and you vibrate at a higher frequency you are um, healing your past present and future not only healing that but things start to come into alignment for you and then we have burden so with this card Usually it means taking on other people's burdens when you shouldn't have to. Um, you see with this ant, with these cards all together, what I'm getting is, is um, you're not burdened at all. Because you're manifesting at such a high frequency and a high level that you generate good for all people. Just like the ant, the worker ant, um, they work for the good of the whole colony and flow I love this beautiful card so you've learned to just let go and let it flow thank you so much I hope this resonated with you uh, for those that picked deck number two I am moving on to deck number three For those of you who picked the breast cancer awareness bracelet so you have <laughs> yeah I love this card it's so cute soulmates so this is telling you that you are in the presence of a soulmate um, this person is there to guide you to the true, real you. They help you evolve and transform, taking you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. And know that those feelings that you have for this person are reciprocal, and it is the greatest gift from Source. That's so beautiful, oh my gosh. Okay, see so you next card. Is imagine and I like this because I, I like the moon of course I'm a cancer so I tend to like the moon <laughs> so imagine um, this is the it's like you use your manifest imagination to manifest your dreams into reality so you are a manifester okay um, if you can dream it you can create it you have the power in your imagination and your creativity to manifest the life that you desire. Spend more time daydreaming. Um, make a vision board. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's where you like. You can use Pinterest to do it, or you can use magazines and just create your little board of of uh, things that you want. That you know, the life that you want, the home that you want, the career that you want. And then also use meditation. Allow your power of imagination to be fueled by your emotions. Imagine these things already existing, then watch the magic happen. <laughs> and you have higher power. 
So higher power is basically an advice letting you know that you need to be aware and conscious of your connection to spirit and to stay in contact through prayer and meditation. It's also to let you know that you are divinely protected and directed by source. You have water. <laughs> so you are in an evolutionary shift from your form former self to your new self. And I say that because water speaks of fluidity. Of, um, and mainly, mainly in the fluidity of emotions. Um, so if you're feeling a lot of emotions and you're not used to feeling all these emotions, just allow them to flow and to go with it. And you have, <laughs> you have beauty way. So it's advising you to see the beauty in every situation. Don't focus on negativity or darkness. Instead, won't you point out light and help uncover hidden treasures to other people? Recognize the beauty within yourself and others. Focus on the positive, and that will raise your vibration and frequency. That, that also helps with manifestation. Then you have the joy card. And I'm just feeling so much joy reading this for y'all, for those that picked deck three. Um... Y'all are just in a very high frequency, high vibration emotion at this current time. Y'all are, uh, some of you I'm feeling y'all are like in love. <laughs> you're in love with life. You're in love with your, some of you are in love with your job. <laughs> um, some of you are in love with your purpose and your path that you're just self-discovering. And some of you are realizing the love, the great love you have for yourself. And some of you have discovered your soulmates. Some of you have discovered you're a twin flame. And this joy just keeps rising and rising. And then you have emotional release. So, this is telling me that you are healing. And, you know, all these emotions that you've got coming up and you're purging negative emotions and those positive emotions are growing and building and it's like this beautiful, wonderful feeling that's bursting inside of you. And then you have learning. So this tells me that you are on your spiritual journey. You are learning uh, you are gaining wisdom from your not only your inner self, but from your spirit guides, from source, um, from your soulmates, and from people around you. You may even be getting uh, educated from things that people post on Instagram or <laughs> Facebook or whatever. And it's funny because I don't really like Facebook. Oh my goodness, no, I'm not a fan of that. But, um... You are finding, this is telling me you're finding um, spiritual education in everyday life. Everyday things that you encounter. So those that picked deck number three. I hope it resonated. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I am moving on to those that picked deck number four. Deck number four is um, this mother bracelet. That my daughter Michaela got for me. Okay. Your message is from Spirit. So you have Chop Wood. So Chop Wood is... It represents everyday life. Those chores and responsibilities. Work, tasks. Those mundane things that take you away from your dreams. This advises that you should know that you are where you are meant to be. These mundane tasks, they put you in the energy of receptivity. And when you're in that energy, you're able to release attachments, which brings you closer to your dreams. So here you are, you're getting stuck. You feel like you're stuck in these everyday tasks like, oh, I can't focus. I'm so busy. I got all this cleaning to do, all this washing, you know, I've got this, 
I'm constantly got all this stuff just popping up in my life that's taken me away from having time to uh, pursue my spiritual goals and my dreams and what I'm wanting to accomplish. But in actuality, source throws those in your in your path to distract you. So those those mundane tasks put you kind of in a mode of meditation. And like even for like some people, I've had some people like some feminines who complain like, oh, my masculine, he just wants to play the PlayStation all day or play games all day. But that is another form of meditation. It takes their mind off of this constantly thinking and it puts their consciousness in the background so that they can receive downloads and shifts. And that's basically the same thing with these mundane everyday tasks that you have to do. It makes you more receptive to spirit. And then you have serendipity. So this tells me that you may be seeing signs and symbols, a lot of synchronicities, maybe numbers like 111, 222, 333, 444, 744, 711. You know, all these different synchronicities that are actually downloads. Um, you've stepped into alignment with the greater good and are in harmony to create miracles. Do know that you are a channel for a higher power, so expect the unexpected. You have the card, why? <laughs> this card, if you see, she's trying to look in this book. She's looking for answers. She's looking for education. This card tells you to ask yourself to, and to be very clear on your own understanding of why you are making the choices that you are, why you're behaving the way you are in a certain way, or even looking for this answer in this reading, maybe. Um, you need to look for your reason of why. What's your intentions? Your why is the energy that brings the seed to life. You have the witness. The witness observes without engaging. So you can see from a higher perspective and make better decisions. Find stillness and let your true intent reveal itself. And then you have wind. Wind is a sign of change. And when wind comes up, it usually signifies to me that there's something maybe you need to change your mind about. Maybe a behavior pattern that you need to change, a thought pattern you need to change. Maybe you've made a decision that's really not in your best interest or the interest for others. Um, but whatever it is, you've gained some clarity. You may recently have gained more clarity about it. And it's okay to change your mind. This is just telling you it's okay to make that change. Then you have integration. Integration tells you to listen to your instincts, your inner voice, not your logic or ego voice. This situation or person or energy um, that you've made a choice, you're realizing doesn't match your own energy. Again, it's okay to, to make that change, to listen to your instincts. And then you have the truth card. It's saying to listen to your truth. Walk in your truth. And your final card is hidden blessings. When you uncover your truth, when you walk in your truth, when you make that decision, when you make that change... You're going to realize all these blessings that come down on you. All this abundance. All this beauty. You see, she's in darkness. She's in darkness. But she found beauty in the darkness. Okay, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, bye.